Funny of the story, and eventually it caught on like, oh wait, the track doesn't actually continue there. After the seas, I think we're gonna go ahead and hit up the land. We just did this the other night, and I always tell you guys, living with the land for me, the boat ride that's in the land pavilion is for me like the people mover of Epcot. So I'm ready to get back in there, and I could ride that just around and around all the time. There's some of that Epcot music. We all need that in our lives. You see, this is yeah where they now have some of these floating baskets that we love here and like they never had that before like all the way over here in future world this is another good moment of documenting one day this will be vintage video it's like documenting these current times we have all of this plexiglass and it's kind of a little bit claustrophobic like when you get stuck when you're just walking through it's okay but when you're like stopped like this it's a little claustrophobic, but thankfully you don't usually stop for too long in these things like the line keeps moving So yeah, but it's just it's interesting like look at all of this plexiglass One day soon we won't have to deal with it All right, Now we are the back of this boat. We are in row five the other night. We were front row Now we are gonna be the back of the boat, which is sometimes interesting to like turn around and see behind you Even though we have this one right behind us. It's like a connected boat, but yeah, it did not like we're like in the middle row, like you said, like smushed in. Please lower your hand. This arid landscape may seem lifeless. It is very much alive. Oh, oh look at the prairie duck. Oh, there he is. He's popping up. Welcome to our living laboratory, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce new the tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. This room right These here, this is the best. Like, this that is have my happy place. Nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and they're making it the most popular fruit in the world. What's cool is they always do different displays based on like the time of year it is here in Epcot. So right now since it's flower and garden they have like a bunch of like flower and garden themed displays throughout the whole pavilion in here which is really cool. We're coming back over to Sunshine Seasons to pick up the ice water that they have sitting out here. This was a good tip that we discovered the other night. It's nice that it's like very centrally located to just easily come up to this quick service and grab a cup of water. Of course, while we're here, I have to visit my favorite little guy. I absolutely love Figment ever since I was a kid. It was just, he's always been my favorite. And how cute is his topia? I love that you can get so up close to it where it is right here, right by his ride, very appropriate. So yeah, we're sipping our ice water. Then when we finish, I think we're gonna go ahead and head inside to actually ride Figment's ride. Okay, we finished our water, so now we're gonna go ahead and get in line for Figment. My favorite, I love Figment. The flowers here on this desk are actually like Figment colors. I wonder if they did that on purpose. <laughs> I have a feeling they did, of course, it's Disney. Dr. Nigel Channing works in there. We to go into the, um, Welcome we go. to our special drive through open house. I'm Dr. Nigel Channing, chairman of the Imagine. Go, go, can I go too? Absolutely. 
Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the same. To interfere with the tour. Right here. Left. Right. What? This is odd. Um, hello? Hello. Who is this? It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. <laughs> now I've completely lost my train of thought. No, you haven't. memory that I always have is one of my very first trips I think it was in kindergarten that would have been my very very first trip ever I can remember getting my figment plush and I still have him to this day mine has a little badge though that's his badge from the Institute that he works at how cute is that I saw this at Disney Springs the other night the little like shoulder figment so cute this shirt is adorable one little spark yeah, so story time about figments. So I never got to experience, I've seen the videos online, but I never got to experience the original version of figment with the dream finder and everything that everyone you know says is so much better. I think I would have loved that a lot more. <laughs> but I just, you know, my very first trip ever in kindergarten was this version that we have right now of figment. And I instantly just was in love with it. I still just loved everything about figment. And my parents though, when we first when they first took me in kindergarten this was like completely different for them they were used to the original version so <laughs> funny story we actually rode this several times in a row because we thought at the end when the skunk smell happens that that was like one variation of the ride and for some reason if you would get a different scent the ride could continue on so didn't we how many times mom did we like go around like, we were like, <laughs> we were like yeah. oh let's see if we can get oh, a different get one and then eventually it caught on like oh wait the track doesn't actually continue there yes but i've always just loved figment so much <laughs> So right here to the side of the Imagination Pavilion, over here on this lawn during this time, they've been doing some like character meet and greet, like distance meet and greets over here. Usually it's Winnie the Pooh is out here running around. He has like a little butterfly net, like he's catching butterflies, which is appropriate because there's the butterfly house right there. This is like a nice little secluded section back here in Epcot. It's really nice. They have the bathrooms that are tucked away back here. Not many people know about those. So it's always a good little tip. <laughs> Bird, hello! Here's a closer look at what we saw the other day. This is the Lion King topiary. They are so cute. I like this new location that they have them in too. I love this Disney duck. He's found the 
strip of shade right there from the monorail beam. You're living your best life, my Disney duck friend. Okay, we're heading into World Showcase right now for some flower and garden food. That's what we're gonna do pretty much for our dinner is just snack around World Showcase here as you do when you are in Epcot. And right now we're passing, this is the Honey Bistro. And if you remember in the vlog from the other day, this is where we saw that mama duck and the cute little baby ducks all lined up here. And I was like, I wonder if we'll see them. <laughs> that would be, that would make me so happy if we would get to see them again. Okay, so my dad's getting the first flower and garden item from here in Canada at the Northern Bloom. He is going to go ahead and get this one, the beef tenderloin tips. There's a picture of it right there. So here's a little look at this menu. The scallops could be good to try too. I do love my scallops. And I've seen a lot of people getting this, the maple popcorn shake. It's non-alcoholic and it actually is served with like caramel popcorn on top. That sounds really good when we're in like a dessert mood. Still can't get over how huge those harmonious barges are. They are massive, <laughs> absolutely massive. But I am optimistic that Disney is going to cover them up well. It also would be great if I've heard talk that they might sink them down in the water more. I feel like they need that because we love this view of World Showcase. You know, we don't want it to be obstructed. We love our classic World Showcase view. Also, I can hear music kind of like over yonder that way. So I feel like. It's gonna be a cavalcade coming. I think it's the princess one. It sounded like that very regal music. I love seeing the princesses. That's always so fun. It was, it's exciting like getting to catch these little cavalcades as they do them. It just adds to the whole experience so much. Just, it's like a random little pop-up meet and greet every now and then. So here is my dad's beef tenderloin tips. And it's served with mashed potatoes. And it looks like it has, what are those on there? Is that? Potatoes, I think. There are potatoes as well. And then you got carrots, roasted carrots in there. There's any mushrooms oh, so there's there. mushrooms on there too. Okay, let's give this a try. Okay, I'm gonna try a bite here. They're pearl onions. Oh, that's what they are. They're pearl onions. Here we go. These I got it with a little fatty right now. Yeah, there's a piece of fat right here. So my parents are enjoying that. I'm gonna come stand over here to see the princesses as they come past. Okay, so the beef, that was the first piece that I had. You saw on the clip there, I, the first bite that I took, it was really fatty. And then I had another bite, and still even the piece that wasn't fatty, it was just very tough. So that was not a good one for me. I like the flavor, like the mashed potatoes, really good, like the gravy, the sauce that it's in is really good. But I, maybe we just got like a bad cut of meat. My dad seems to really like it though. He's a beef person though. <laughs> like, like, yeah, it's like, yeah, I go. Said it was a little tough. It was even, it yeah, a little tough. It has good flavor, and carrots right. are really good, and mushrooms. But um, yeah, it wasn't, just it wasn't was the, the one bite thing for me. I was Right, <laughs> we're like, yeah, well, We'll wait and get some other stuff. So for me, I, I'm gonna have to give that one a one out of five. It just was not, it wasn't a good one. I'm gonna tell you what I think. <laughs> yeah, now me and mom are coming down into, this is mom's favorite part in all of World Showcase, isn't it mom? You love World, <laughs> the Canada gardens. These gardens are so beautiful. They always just have carpeting of flowers everywhere, any time of the year, but especially during the Flower and Garden Festival, there's just everywhere you look, there's flowers. We did get, this is the pork tenderloin salad, which had the burrata cheese was in this. Here we go. It's in like a barbecue sauce too right there. So tender. If you like pork, it looks it's like toasted. a breadstick. It's toasted, but it's cornbread. Like, that is delicious. Okay, I don't even know how to go in on this. I grabbed a knife and fork. Let me just try to take a bite, then I'll cut it. Gourmet Dunkin' Donuts. That is so good, and it is caramelized right there. 